president first told us to stay calm, folks, that everything is fine and that it's just a hoax. Your lives, how could we buy this? People dying, he calls it the Chinese virus. You better get to the market fast, and you better find a mask. No more sunshine, now we gotta do school online. There is a sign that we'll be fine if we stay inside. We'll be fine if we stay inside. We'll be fine if we stay inside. It won't be like this forever. Relax, watch some TV, learn some facts, or you can take a walk, grab your phone, and have a talk with your friend. And soon this virus will end. We'll be fine if we stay inside. We'll be fine if we stay inside. Do me a favor, all right? I know that you're sick as a dog, but can you please, please stop leaving your snot rags over the damn place? On the kitchen table, on the dining room table, I find them buried between the sheets and the bed. It's gross and nasty and disgusting. What? I pick them up constantly. I mean, how much effort does it actually take to just throw them out? Or at least put them in a designated spot? I get that you're sick, but that does not permit you to be a slob. How would you feel if you kept finding my snot rags over the damn place? I stepped on at least two of them today, and they both stuck to my foot, and I couldn't get them off because the snot acted like glue, and I had to actually scrape them from the back of my foot with a sponge. I'm okay. Fine if we stay inside. We'll be fine if we stay inside. I want to talk to you about life. It's just so difficult being alive, isn't it? And trying to function during this quarantine. <laughs> there are still so many people to deal with. I went to the supermarket, risked my life going there, wearing plastic gloves and a mask, and I was going to buy a can of tuna fish. And there was this person standing right in front of where I needed to reach out and grab the tuna fish. And so I waited a while and kept my six feet apart, like the government said, to see if they'd move, and they didn't. They were looking at the tuna fish too, but they were taking a really long time on it, reading the ingredients on each of the cans as if it were some sort of book. <laughs> Pretty boring book if you'd ask me, but, but nobody has. And so I waited a while and they didn't move and I couldn't get to the tuna fish. And, and I did, I thought about asking them to move, but this person just seemed so stupid not to have grasped that I needed to get by them that, that I had this awful fear. That it, would, that it would do no good, no good at all to ask them. They'd probably just turn around and say something like, I'll move when I'm good and ready, stop nagging me. And then, and then what would I do? And so, and so I started to cry out of frustration, quietly, so as not to disturb anyone. And even though I was softly sobbing, this, this stupid person still couldn't grasp that I needed to get by them. I just wanted to get home safely, and so I reached out with my disinfected fist and brought it down real hard on the top of his head, contaminating my glove, and screamed, Would you kindly move your six feet away, moron? I'm Ethan, and this is Saki. <laughs> And today we're going to tell you guys some jokes. He's going to tell you some jokes. 
tell you some crappy puns, and I'm gonna tell you some superior comedy. No joke's so good. Like this one. What do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. They're not stupid. <laughs> oh, you tell the jokes. Okay. Why did a cockeyed teacher get fired? Why? Because she couldn't control her pupils. <laughs> <laughs> Saki, that's offensive. Deal with it. I'm telling the jokes now. Okay, fine. One more joke. Okay. What, what do you call a fat psychic? What? A fortune teller. <laughs> <laughs> Saki, your jokes are too offensive. Just tell them about your day, I guess. I could use some water. One more joke and then you're done. You know, I once knew an anteater that ate uncles too. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye, Saki. Bye, losers. Stay inside. We'll be fine if we stay inside. So I've been taking these online acting classes on Zoom. And the teacher is this weird, creepy guy who's going bald and always wears tight pants. No one even wears pants on Zoom. Even more annoying than that, he never says my name right. It's Angelique. My name is Angelique. Not Angelica, not Angie. Angelique. It's French for like an angel or touched by an angel. Something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. He's always having us do these weird, creepy breathing exercises and all I can ever think is my mother is not paying you to teach me how to breathe, weird, creepy, bald guy with tight pants. My mother is paying you to teach me how to act, which I'm already good at. Acting. I'm an actress. He's too much with his breathe in, hold, breathe out. Feel your inner animal reaching through. My inner animal? Is he serious? <laughs> So I googled the guy when I got off Zoom the other day. Whatever, I know it's weird, but I had to know what this guy has done that makes him so special. <laughs> and you know what he's done? This guy who supposedly will teach me how to act. Three episodes of Ghost Hunter and a deodorant commercial. Deodorant? Is this a joke? <laughs> What's this guy gonna teach me to do? Not sweat? Whatever. Stay inside. We'll be fine if we stay inside. Hey, Kira, can I tell you a joke? Okay, sure. How do you put an elephant in a fridge? I don't know. It's easy. You just open the fridge and put it in. <laughs> Let me ask you another one. If all of the animals went to the lion's birthday party and one animal went missing, which one would it be? I don't know. <laughs> The elephant, because it's still inside oh, the fridge. Okay. Bye, <laughs> bye, Tiffany. Hey, Ethan. Hey, Tiffany. Can I ask Saki a joke? Sure. Knock, knock. Who's there? I eat mop. I eat mop. <laughs> you said no, I, I eat my poo. You're a loser. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Did you eat? Did you eat? Are you copying me? Are you copying me? I love you. Yeah, I ate already. We'll be fine if we stay inside. We'll be fine if we stay inside. Hey, how's it going? Glad to see you're out and about. Welcome to the general store. So, you looking for adventure now that quarantine's over? I got just the thing for you. How about heading down the trail to Oregon? Now we got everything you need for a trip like that. Food, clothes, supplies, we got it all. But from the looks of you, I can see you're not from around here. So let me tell you, there are a lot of general store owners who might try to shice a newbie like you with some fast talking, turn a quick buck, but I like you. So let me tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you one wagon for the price of two, not a penny less. And for an extra 50 bucks, I'm gonna throw in an ox for free. A free ox! Now you may be looking at this wagon and thinking, hey, that looks old and rusty. Well, 
Let me tell you, that's the point. You see, the Trail of Oregon is filled with bandits who will rob you and kill your whole family, but only if they think you're rich, which they won't with a wagon like this one. Now, you may be thinking, hey, what's up with the hole in the middle of the wagon? Well, let me tell you, that's a floor window. The Trail of Oregon is filled with precious rocks and ores, and it would be a crime to miss out on them. Lastly, you're gonna want it at the square wheels. See, with normal circular wheels, you would go tumbling down hills to imminent death. But with square wheels like this one, you can cruise down at your comfort. If you want a safe, fun, exciting, educational trip down the Trail of Oregon, you are going to need a wagon like this one. All right, everybody. The show is officially over. So uh, what did we all find out today? Well, I mean, I guess that's kind of pointless if I'm gonna tell you. Okay. Well, um, Johnny's song was pretty sweet, and Claire's sister's nose excretes. Uh, Kira, Bumblebee is the brand I eat, and Ethan doesn't wear socks on his feet. Ava gets an Oscar today, and Tiffany says things in a funny way. Don't trust a word that Caden has to say. I think that's everyone, right? Okay. And the show is done. Now go and wash your hands. Be six feet from where I stand. Life has become so bland. We all really need his hand. Now go stare at the wall. Make your hundredth FaceTime call. Am I just trying to stall? Yep, we've gone through it all, and the show is done. We'll be fine if we stay inside. We'll be fine if we stay inside. We'll be fine if we stay inside.